Well, take a look at this child right here, okay? At just two years old, her mother is dead. She lives in dire poverty, even among witchcraft. Well, now a local family is in Uganda trying to adopt her, but they are facing some unexpected challenges. Eyewitness News reporter Luke Jones is live in our Pocatello newsroom tonight. Uh, Luke, uh, what's, the, what's the real delay here? Well, Todd, they tell me they've been doing everything Ugandan officials have told them to, but it seems from week to week instructions just seem to vary. Still, right now, they just hope to get their new child home in time for Christmas. When Jennifer Robinson first set foot in Uganda, the mother of two never thought she'd become a parent again. Then she met Grace. I was very um, encouraged to see a young girl so um, vibrant. So vibrant, but living in squalor. Kind of like what we might picture as a shanty town. With questionable influences. Unfortunately, this family was. Um, part of a tribe that did practice witchcraft. When two-year-old Grace lost her mother this year. In Uganda, life is hard. Her father had one request. In his words, he said, you can provide a life for her that I can't ever dream of. So the Robinsons agreed to adopt, but it wasn't anything like they thought it would be. It's been a very laborious process. Her husband, Joshua, pastor at a local church, is in Uganda right now. We certainly share lots of pictures. Where he spent the past seven weeks trying to bring Grace home. It's been an unusual adoption process because um, Grace is not um, in an orphanage. As Christmas nears, whenever I hear the Christmas music, Christmas. Robinson says the holiday wouldn't be complete without all her family. It truly would be my own little Christmas miracle to have them back. Now, the Robinsons say they've been petitioning their local congressman to get involved in this. Right now, they're trying to get a visa for Grace and expect to interview for that as early as next week. Live in the Pocatello Newsroom, I'm Luke Jones. That'd be a great Christmas story. Thanks, Luke. Uh, when Grace uh, comes home to Chubbuck, uh, she'll have two older sisters, a six-year-old and a four-year-old. They haven't met Grace, but they have talked on FaceTime.